So President Donald Trump and his administration have quietly, of course, reactivated an old program that warns employers when their new employees are likely to be illegal immigrants. The program was so-called the No Match Letter, and it basically alerts employers that their employees claimed social security numbers are kind of off or suspect. I mean, that's a good thing because a lot of these illegal immigrants steal social security numbers from Americans and this no match program can identify those social security numbers and hopefully get those said illegal immigrants detained and of course we're not talking about a small number of illegal immigrants that do this we are talking about millions of illegal immigrants who steal and sell stolen social security numbers from Americans and I guess that answers the question that many of you have when you ask how do these illegal immigrants get these jobs and how do these illegal immigrants get on these benefits when they're not American citizens so they don't have social security numbers well hopefully this answers your question and they steal them they steal these social security numbers off of Americans all the time but of course as you know it the Democrats are refusing to sign the letter but the letter of course was endorsed by a large group of pro-immigration groups including the Coalition of Humane Immigrant Rights, the Latina American Legal Defense and Education Fund. But we all know the Democrats were never going to sign on to this thing because the Democrats want these illegals in the country in the first place. And if it means that these illegal immigrants are going to be stealing American citizens' social security numbers and hopefully might be able to vote with these stolen numbers, then all the more power to them, says the Democrats. But here's the thing. The U.S. government has addresses, names, locations of almost... I would say about 70 something percent of all illegal immigrants in the United States. But they simply can't just go knocking on doors and deporting tens of hundreds of thousands of people. Because number one, they simply just don't have the manpower. And number two, they don't have the funds. And number three, even if Donald Trump was to enact some massive deportation program, because it would be shut down by every court in the nation. Both Democrats and Republicans would be against it. And again, he does not have the power nor funding to get that kind of thing accomplished. I am in all favor of mass illegal immigration deportation, but to look at it pragmatically, it's just, it's just not going to happen, unfortunately. But with Trump reviving this new program, maybe, just maybe, the U.S. job market could at least have some relief from it because because remember this, there are millions and millions and millions of illegal undocumented workers in the U.S. workforce and job market that make it so much harder for American citizens to obtain jobs and also cheapens up the wages. Because think about it like this. Let's say you are a, an employer. You have two options on the table. You can either hire an American citizen, which you have to pay in most states $15 an hour for minimum wage, or you hire the illegal immigrant and pay them 4 to $3 an hour and not have to worry about all of the little benefits, the legal terms and stuff like that when hiring a, uh, an American citizen. And if you're thinking like a businessman, you're going to hire the illegal immigrant because the illegal immigrant is much more or less costly than the American citizen. Because with the American citizen, you have to uh, go through all of this illegal trouble. Sometimes you have to offer them benefits. It's, you take a bigger risk when you hire an American citizen than you do with an illegal immigrant. Now, I am in no way making excuses for business owners who hire illegal immigrants over American citizens. And as a fellow businessman myself, I can understand and empathize with another business owner, but it is still wrong nonetheless. Now, maybe what this program can do is alert to the illegal immigrants or to the employers that the person they had just hired may be an illegal immigrant because of the social security number being suspect. And here's another thing I forgot to mention. A lot of these employers might not even know that the people that they hiring are illegal immigrants because the social security card, I mean the social security number is registered to an American citizen. 
not an illegal immigrant. So in some cases, the employer may not even know that they're hiring illegal immigrants in the first place. So if this system or this program goes through, these employers then can alert the authorities of these illegal immigrants using these social security numbers and have them detained and hopefully deported. Because it is harder to argue to deport an illegal immigrant who's come here and hasn't committed any other crime than being in the country illegally. But if they are arrested for identity theft, basically, it'll be easier to deport them that way. But with no border wall, it's harder to keep them out, basically. And Trump can do what he can with the border wall, but if he doesn't have support or anyone else backing him in Congress, then there's nothing really he can do about it. But either way, you guys go ahead and let me know what you thought about this in the comment section below. And that's about it for this video. Peace out, guys.